let's talk skating. So today I'm going to talk to you about skates, what they are, what all the different parts are, how to strip your skate down, how to put it back together, and we'll go through a list of all the parts, and how to maintain them, clean them, look after them, and adjust them, and basically find out what everything is. So let's get into it. So to start with the basic parts of a skate, we've got the boot up on top, plate down the bottom. On our plate is a kingpin, which our trucks are mounted on. Mounted on our trucks is our wheels and bearings. Mounted on top of the axles, and we have a toe stop at the front. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our wheel nut tool. It's going to fit on that nut there, and we'll undo it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Undo that all the way up to the top there. Get the last bit with our fingers. Our wheel nuts inside. Wheels off, they'll just slide up off the axles, flip the skate over, same thing on the other side, take your other wheels off. Once we've got the wheels off, we'll wait for the axles nice and exposed there. Now, you should be able to see on the end of these axles up behind our wheels, there's going to be a lot of hair and gunk. That all gets picked up off the floor when you're skating around, winds itself around your axle and gets stuck in there. It's important to take your wheels off every so often, just get all that gunk out of there because that will work its way down inside your bearings, wreck your bearings. Next thing we're going to start looking at here is our kingpin. On top of that kingpin is our kingpin nut, bottom cushion, truck, top cushion. To get that off, take a nut here. Now if you've got a Y tool or a T tool or some form of skate tool. Generally you'll have a smaller socket on there for our wheel nuts and a larger one for the kingpin nuts. We'll flip that round, take that nut off the top there and we can slide our bottom cushion up. A lot of the times you're going to have some form of aluminium washer or steel washer on top of that cushion to stop the wheel nut sitting down there and wrecking your cushion. Go to our top cushion, put that aside. Then we can just work our trucks up and the truck's going to come off. Truck sits in the skate that way with the kingpin up through there, wheels on the axles, and this up here is your pivot. That's going to sit down inside the pivot cup, which is this little hole at the front here, and that has a plastic or rubber insert in there, which is called a pivot cup. These will wear out and get broken over time. Once they're screwed, you're going to have a lot of trouble staying straight on your skates and turning, and they're not going to work well. So we'll take that out, have a look at that, make sure it's all good, put it to the side. So now we're taking our top cushion off, left for the kingpin exposed. Exact same deal, exact same setup on the back. Next thing we get into here is our toe stops at the front. Now, these plates here, you'll notice, have a split at the front and an allen key grub screw on the side. That's what locks our toe stop in there nice and tight. I can't turn that, I can't move it. It's not gonna fall out while I'm skating around. I'm gonna take an allen key, slot that in there, undo that grub screw a couple of turns, loosen that off the toe stop, and then that'll allow me to spin this toe stop around easily. Now to adjust our toe stops, unscrew it, winds it out, makes the stem longer, screw it back in, makes it shorter. I like to have mine set quite high. A lot of people like them low, some like them in the middle. All different types of toe stops you get, long stem, short stem, all personal preference. Whatever you like is best. Adjust that to where you like it. Don't be afraid to set it up, set it up long, try it out. If you don't like it, wind it in, set it up short, try that out again, see how you go. A lot of the times your freshie skates aren't gonna have this grub screw and the split up the front. They'll have a nut on the end of the toe stop stem in between there, that's what locks it on. So to adjust those, we're gonna to have to crack that nut and loosen it, and then we should be able to wind it in now. Once we've got it in a position we want it to stay in, we'll wind that nut up tight again. I don't actually have a pair of skates with that on to show you, otherwise it would. So we screw that in where we like to get it. I like mine about there. 
do that little grub screw up again. That makes it nice and tight. Toe stops. Can't unscrew, can't undone, they're not going to fall out. You see here my toe stops are starting to get a little hole on the bottom there. That's when they're sort of getting towards the end of their life. Not very far from here, especially if you do a lot of outdoor skating, you're going to start seeing metal coming out of there as soon as it gets to that point. Throw them away, put a new set on there. If you keep skating like that, not only is it going to make it harder for you to stop and make you slip on different surfaces, if you skate on a wooden floor like that, you're going to tear big gouges in it and you're not going to be real popular. So once we've got everything all stripped down and inspected, we've had a look at everything, make sure our toe stops still got a bit of wear left in it, pivot cups are all in good condition, kingpins, axles, everything's clean, we can start putting everything back together. First thing to go in, gonna get our pivot cup, make sure that sits in the pivot hole there, nice and flush. Next thing to go on will be our top cushion. We're gonna slide that down on the kingpin, get our truck, Make sure that's up the right way with the pivot facing down. Slide it over the kingpin. Find that pivot up in the pivot cup. Make sure that's seated nicely on our cushions. Bottom cushion next on there. Washer to go on top of that. Then our kingpin nut. Now this kingpin nut serves two functions. It holds your trucks and axles in the right place, but it also allows you to adjust how much turn you've got in your trucks when you put your foot down and put your weight into it. There's a whole bunch of different setups, a whole bunch of different ways to have that. Again, it's all personal preference. I like to have mine really loose at the front, so I've got a lot of room to turn, really tight at the back so they don't move a lot and keep me tracking nice and straight. Personal preference. Loosen them up, have a skate on it, see how it feels. You don't like that, tighten it up. Tighten the back one up more, loosen the front one off. Tighten the front one, loosen the back one. However you want to set it up, that's completely up to you. But to adjust that, you either make this tighter or looser. Pretty straightforward. However you want to set it up, you do it. Completely personal preference. While well, we've got our wheels off, it's a good idea sometimes to have a look at our bearings. Now, I've got inside my wheels, it's a bit hard to see on the camera. But if you look down inside there, you'll see there is a little metal spacer in the middle. When you've got those spacers in your wheels, it's pretty hard to get your bearing off with a standard bearing tool. Generally, a lot of skates aren't going to have that in there though, so it's not something you need to worry about. There is a knack to getting bearings off with a spacer in. There's plenty of videos on that, I'm not going to go into it. Just go with a simple one today, or I've borrowed a wheel from someone else who doesn't have a spacer. We've got our little $9 bones bearing tool here, button on top. I'm going to slot that down inside the bearing, push the button to push it all the way in. It's locked in there nice and tight. And then we just pull it up like that. And our bearing comes out, push the button on top, bearing comes off. Get into the back bearing. The same thing again, push the button, take the bearing off there. So while we've got our bearings out, we're going to have a look, make sure they're clean. There's no junk here, crap all rolled up in there. A lot of bearings will have, as you can see here, there's a plastic cover that goes on that inside with a big open gap. On the outside is sealed. Once you get into bearings like this, they need lube, they need maintenance. Check out your bearing manufacturer's website and instructions that come with them. There's plenty of videos around on how to oil and clean bearings. I run sealed bearings, so I don't have to do that. However, once a sealed bearing is stuffed, it's stuffed. It's time to throw it away. There's nothing much you can do with it. So we're going to have a little spin of our bearings, make sure they spin nice and free. What you don't want is any sideways movement, any clunkiness in them. So bearings all good to go, now it's time to put it back in our skate. So we're going to get our bearing, slot it on the bearing tool, make sure it's the right way around with the sealed side facing out, open side facing in. Pick up our wheel, line up that bearing with there, nice and tight. Push it all the way in, push the button on the top, take the bearing tool out bearing stuck in the wheel. Same thing again, on the front side, get in there, line it up, make sure it's nice and straight and goes in there good. Push the button, take it out. So when we hold our fingers on the bearing centers and spin the wheel, it should spin nice and smoothly. You will notice if your bearings are shot, it'll make a lot of clunky noise, it'll be nice and loose sideways, lots of movement that way. Got my ram skates here, 
I've got a couple of worn out bearings on here. Inverter spin, and you can hear the noise they're making. It's not a healthy noise for your bearings to make. It should be nice and smooth, no clunky noises, nice and free rolling. Cool, now we've got all our bearings out, clean, everything all done. Time to put the wheels back on. We're gonna slide our wheels down on our axles. Now you notice here I've got two different colored wheels. Uh, I run a crossover setup on mine with between 88A and 91A hardness wheels. Personal preference. However you like to set it up, you do it. There's plenty of stuff on Google. Plenty of advice around, ask the question, people will tell you all about different wheels for different surfaces. But again, it all comes down to what you like. This is the setup I like, so this is what I roll with. So we got our wheel nuts on there, started on there. You'll notice at the top of your wheel nut, there is a nylon insert around the top side, and then the bottom's flat. So the bottom side, the flat side, obviously goes down to the wheel, nylon's on the outside to hold your nut on there and stop it falling off. So once we got them started, we put our tool on there, screw them down, make sure we're not cross-threading it, make sure it's going down nice and square. We're gonna tighten it up, but what we don't wanna do is over-tighten it. So once you feel it start to bite up, so you see there, it's nice and loose, it gets to there, I have to start putting some weight on it to move it. We don't wanna over-tighten that because we will crush our bearings and they're not gonna spin and you're gonna wreck your bearings. Notice there, that still spins freely because I've got the bearing spaces in there. That one spins nice, this one, pretty much stops. You'll notice if you've got them too tight, your wheels are gonna spin, maybe half a turn, quarter of a turn, not go very far. When we get to that, we just wanna get our wheel tool and back it off, so loosen it, about half a turn, or just until your wheels are gonna spin freely and be unhindered by the wheel nut. Flip it over, put our wheels on the other side, wheel nuts back on. And again, we'll just do them up the exact same way. So we want to get them nice and snug on the wheel, but not over tight. Obviously what we don't want is our wheel to be able to go up and down like that. But then again, we don't want to over tighten it, crush, and crush the bearings and make it so it's not going to spin. See that there, it's just a little bit too tight. So I'll just back it off a tiny bit. Nice free spinning wheels. Still move that wheel up and down there. Give it a little bit more. Well, there you go, there's a stuffed bearing. Noise coming off that one. That bear, those bearings are completely shot. So, that is the absolute basics of your skates. What they are, the different parts to them. It's a little bit about adjusting them and setting them up to your personal preference. Don't be afraid to play around. Don't be afraid to try new things. You can always put them back the way they were. Ask for advice, ask for help. Try different setups, try all different sorts of things. See what works for you. What works for someone else isn't gonna work with you, but you might be able to get a bit of someone's advice, someone else's advice, your own personal feeling. Put it all together and get yourself sorted out. Any questions, throw them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to check out the rest of the channel for more instructional videos and also my vlog. Like and subscribe for more and check back regularly for updates on the channels and I will catch up with you next time. Don't wait me.